In this video, we'll be working through question 1.2 to 1.4 of Math Lit Paper 2, November 21. If you'd like to download a copy of this question paper, the link is in the description below. Question 1.2 Paul has entered a motorcycle race. The digital clock in question 1.2.1 shows the time he finished the race. The odometer in question 1.2.2 shows the reading as the motorcycle crossed the finish line. Choose an item in column B to complete the statement in column A. Write only the letter A to E next to the question numbers 1.2.1 and 1.2.2. For example, 1.2.3 F. 1.2.1 The analog clock that shows the same time as the digital clock below is A. 1.2.2 Given the following odometer, pole speed is D. Question 1.3 A wooden L-shaped flower bed is filled with soil. Below is the L-shaped flower bed with dimensions with D as a missing length. In this question, we are given a table with dimensions of the L-shaped flower bed in the first column. The dimensions are given in meters and one of the dimensions is unknown and labeled D. We will probably be asked to calculate this dimension later in the question. In the second column we are given a picture of the L-shaped flower bin. There is a note that states that all corners are right angles. We are instructed to use the information above to answer the questions that follow. 1.3.1 Convert the longest dimension of the L-shaped flower bed to centimeters. From the table, the longest dimension is given as 7,3 meters. We should know that there is 100 centimeters in 1 meter. So 7,3 meters is equal to 7,3 multiplied by 100 centimeters. And this gives us a length of 730 centimeters. 1.3.2 Calculate the missing length D. From the diagram with the dimensions in the table, the length of the longer side is equal to the length of the two sides parallel to it. We can write this as 5,2 meters plus D equals 7,3 meters. If we subtract 5,2 meters from both sides of this equation, then the equation can be simplified to D equals 2,1 meters. 1.3.3 The volume of the flower bed with materials can be calculated as follows. The volume equals 2,1 meters times 3 meters times 0, 0,5 meters plus 5,2 meters times 1 meter times 0, 0,5 meters. And this equals 3,15 cubic meters plus 2,6 cubic meters which equals 5,75 cubic meters. State which value in the above calculation represents the height of the flower bed. Looking at the diagram of the dimensions of the flower bed, we see that we can divide the L-shaped drawing into two rectangles. The one rectangle will have the dimensions of 3 meter by 2,1 meters, while the other rectangle will have the dimensions of 5,2 meters by 1 meter. When we analyze the equation given for the volume, we see that we can account for those dimensions of these two rectangles. We can now see that there is another dimension of 0, 0,5 meters in this equation. It is this dimension that represents the height of the flower bed. So the dimension that represents the height of this flower bed is 0, 0,5 meters. Question 4.1 Below is the layout plan of the inside cabin of a small aeroplane. All the passenger seats face the front except for the air hostess. On all flights there will be an air hostess. On the layout of this aeroplane we are shown the passenger seats that faces the front of this cabin and one air hostess seat that faces towards the back of the cabin. The seats are identified by numbers along the vertical and letters along the horizontal. We are instructed to use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Question 1.4.1 Explain the meaning of a layout plan. A layout plan can be described as a top view that shows the arrangement of features. 
1.4.2 Calculate the maximum number of passenger seats available in this aeroplane. By simply counting the number of seats available in this layout plan, excluding the AOSIS seat, we will find that the maximum number of passenger seats available in this aeroplane is 28. 1.4.3 Sofile is seated in D1. He gets out of his seat and walks past his seat and two more seats towards the back to talk to his friend who is seated on Stofile's right hand side. Using the same notation as Stofile's seat, write down the seat number of his friend. From the layered plan, the seat number of his friend is G1. 1.4.4 During the flight, passengers are allowed to choose a light snack and a drink. The choices are as follows, a muffin or a sandwich with a cola, a juice or a bottled water. Write down the number of options they can choose from. The combinations of snack and drink choices are listed in the table below. From this table, the number of options they can choose from is 6. And that's going to be it for question 1.2 to 1.4. If you found this video helpful and you want to learn more, you can check out this video next.